It's a rainy day here in England, but we can't let that stop us. We've got a lot to do. We started off the day with another shiny Wooloo on the bus, which is really cool. I think that's like my fifth one. And now I've got myself a Dreepy here that I got once I got off the bus, and it is weather boosted, so you never know. This thing could be really good. I would like to get myself a good one, and of course a lucky one for the Lucky Deck, so I'm trying to catch as many of these as possible, because I really don't like wasting Lucky trades on these things. I like to just catch a ton of them and pray that they Lucky re-roll at some point, but free start. I'll take that. I will totally take that. Another goal what we have is we got to get ourselves one more shiny school vet and when we get that we will be done with the family but both of these weren't it sadly and lastly we're going to try to complete to the max page two of three and possibly page three of three if we can but what we have to do right now is we have to collect max power from five more power spots which we won't be able to do today and we have to collect a thousand max particles but we can do that today i want to show you something if you go into the nearby real quick and click on power spot you'll notice that when you walk two kilometers you gain 300 max particles so what i'm going to do right now is show you a trick to get yourself a thousand plus max power every single day. As you can see right here, it says that I've collected 600 out of the 1,000 max particles I need, and I've collected from five power spots. So this is basic math. One power spot gives you 120 max power. So if I've done five of them, I get 600. And the soft cap for the day is 800. So I could do one more of these power spots, getting me up to 720. But if I get another one after that, that puts me up to 840, and then I am officially capped. But if you walk the two kilometers a day, you get 300 max particles. So the key here is go to six of these power spot locations get up to 720 power and then collect this and get 1020 power and that's how you can get a thousand a day so let me show you i found a power spot we're gonna click on it real quick we'll do the whole swipey thing there we go we got another 120 and in this special research you can now see that we've done six of these power spots and we've collected 720 now we go into our nearby we go to the power spot and collect 300 max particles and now we've officially hit the max for the day so instead of getting 840 a day like you would if you just normally did all these power spots you get it a little bit extra by doing the walking as well well. And now, apparently, we get ourselves another Wooloo encounter. This one isn't as good, sadly, but it is what it is. At least my first one was good, so I'm down with that. But let's catch this thing and this big old Pokeball. Bang. Ooh, great. I didn't expect to get a great with that. And I do believe that these are guarantees for sure. When it comes down to the actual max battle raids, yada yada, I don't know exactly how those are going to work, if they're guaranteed or not, or maybe you only get a certain amount of balls to use. But nonetheless, we did get this one, and are you good? Not really. Not at all. And if we look really closely at the nearby real quick, you'll notice now it says 0.1 out of 2 kilometers for the next 300. Technically, I did that two kilometers yesterday and it still kept around, so it doesn't reset every single day. You can walk those two kilometers and just save them if you really want to. But now that I've shown you that, it's time to grind. I'm gonna try to get more Stonjourners, of course. I got quite a few of them on the bus, so I don't exactly know how many we're at now. According to this, we're at 52, and two of them cannot be traded, so that means we have 50 of them to trade. So I'm thinking a new goal is to get to 75 before the end of my time here in England. I wanna get as many of these as possible. I wanna spread the love with these things, so here's hoping we can do it. Catching those two Stonjourners just made me realize I need to max this one out to level 40. Obviously, I don't have as much XLs to do the whole thing, but we have more than enough to get it all the way to 40, so let's just do that real quick. That's going red because I do have it in a Great League team, so it will become ineligible. But there we go, 288 candies down. It'll become a 3,218. Let's freaking do it. Why not, right? Might as well max it all the way, because this way it'll be able to get XL candies while it walks with us. At least it has an increased chance. It's never guaranteed. And you know what? Why not? Let's actually go as far as we can go with it. So we we can do a couple extra in there. I think that brings it up to level 42, and it's a 3,300 exactly, which is a lot more pleasing on the eyes, of course. So, yeah, now we can walk with this thing, get even more XLs as we catch more. I also have Mega Aerodactyl going, so that means we'll be getting even more XLs for catch, and hopefully we'll get enough XLs to actually max it out, but I highly doubt we're gonna get to 296 of them within the time frame. I have no idea why these are so common, but uh, here's my sixth shiny sheep, so neat, which is great for people that didn't get it. I'm more than happy to trade it to them. It's a beautiful shiny. As long as we have decent friendship, I'm not doing another 8 100k plus trade again that was that was pretty bad but how good is this one it's it's fine for all in all but i do have a school vet that didn't turn out shiny it's funny how i have six wooloos and only one of these So the weather's been off and on all day, really. Like, it's been really rainy, and then it clears up, and then I leave my umbrella in the home, and then all of a sudden it starts raining again. So we're in a coffee shop yet again with Milo. So oh, hi, Milo. How are you? a true welcome to Britain. 
but yes, we're all good-ish. And we're gonna be doing some Dreepy trades. We'll see how it goes. I only have like 11 of them to do, and I think he only has 11 as well. So we can flip them back and forth, see what happens. Maybe we'll get that lucky, and hey, you never know, could get that lucky hundo. Trade number one. Let's see what happens. Also, we only get to do nine of these, but this is not a lucky one, and pretty bad. Trade number two. What's this one gonna be? Please be lucky. Oh, it is! There we go! I'm down with a lucky. I'm okay with mine. What'd you get? I got... 14, 13, 13. 14, 13, 13. I got a 15, 13, 14, so I won't complain with this one. Here comes number three. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get back-to-back -back luckies, which would be super cool, but we did not. All right, number four. Will you be a lucky? Can we just go, like, one on, one off? I'd be fine with that. No, definitely not. And you, pretty bad. 306 for me for number five. That'd be super cool if we did. Ah, uh, no, definitely not. And, yeah, it's fine. Milo just mentioned that we get guaranteed XLs, and I completely forgot about that, which is really nice. This one has 15 attack, but it is lucky. I've lost count, actually, to be honest with you, but it would be cool if it was lucky as well. But by his head nod, I already knew it was not. All right, good to know. And it's terrible. Two more to go. We'll see what happens with this one. Here's hoping. It would be cool if it was lucky. No, it's not. And terrible. So clearly we're using the same Dreepy right here, so that's great. Here's hoping it's a flip for a lucky. Maybe we both get hundos. That'd be pretty neat. I think it's like 657. Yeah, well, 629. Yeah, 13, 14, 10. We got one lucky, though. That's all that matters. It could have been worse, but one lucky out of nine. Solid. I appreciate the trades, man. Thanks. Gonna be honest with you, I think I may have lost it, but there should be a shiny Wooloo somewhere in here. Is this the one right here? Yes, there it is. Go. All right, cool. <laughs> Found it. I mean, like, I can't do the AR thing or it's gonna do this. One second. Here we go. Hey, look at that. An invisible oh Wooloo. God. Everybody it's loves it. become a ghost type. <sighs> I mean, yeah, kind of. It looks like one. Just honest with you, like we need to fix this. We so, really do. Is that shiny number seven? Might be. It might actually be shiny number seven. Jeez. But this is the invisible shiny, so technically it's a little different, right? Different form, invisible I don't remember form. Remember that horror movie? I Me mean, either, to be honest with you. Isn't there like a wear sheet movie though? <laughs> Anyways, we caught the thing. Go. Is it good? Not really. No. I mean, we can get tons of these, but no freaking squirrels. I mean, we got one squirrel, but still. <laughs> Anyways, though, we're gonna keep hunting, obviously, but <laughs> it's getting ridiculous. You know, we might as well just do this now. We've got ourselves the Lupke Dreepy. Let's just evolve it, at least to the second stage. I don't know if I want to go fully with it, but technically it would be a Lucky Dex entry. We don't need it to be a Hundo Dex entry, so you know what? We're gonna do it all the way. But I will say, I think the line looks pretty cool. I think this one's called Dracolok or something like that. It's really cool. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a B2 bomber with a little extra extra missile on them. Like, it's kind of fun that the Dreepy is on top, but there it is, registered to the decks. Pretty cool. I'm actually curious, if I were to try to get this thing for Great League, what could I get it to? It would become a... any second now? Okay, it would be a 1493. That's not terrible all in all, really. Though, admittedly, the IVs are terrible for it. And for fun, I actually never looked at the moves, so it knows Astonish and Dragon Tail. For charged moves, it learns Outrage, Dragon Pulse, and Shadow Ball. Actually, pretty solid Pokemon. And again, it has Giratina's typing, which is pretty good. But you know what? Let's just take it all the way. We'll turn it into Dracolock. I believe that's the final form. It looks awesome. It really does. And the shiny looks really good. We had some cards for it recently, and it turns like yellow and stuff. It's like really good. But anyways, here it comes, and it almost went invisible, but oh, that is such a cool design. Dragapult. That's the name. Dragapult. There it is registered to the decks with two little Dreepies in its Vissel container things. And it's a 367. Not exactly the best. It would become a 3,963. I'm sure if you get a hundo, it could possibly breach into 4,000. I'd imagine in Premier Master League, this thing probably would be really good. But also for fun, if I wanted it to be in Great League, what would it be? 1502. Yep, definitely not doing that anytime soon, but for now this is just a fun deck century until we get ourselves a better one. And now we have to wait until 12 a.m. to complete page two of three. But before we do that, I want to evolve one of these Wooloos, and clearly this is the better of the Wooloo for the Dynamaxing, so let's just do this one. Let's evolve it to a Dynamax dub wool just to have it. I think it might be stronger this way as well, because obviously you need to evolve things to make them stronger in the game, and I'm sure we're gonna have to power it up and everything too. Like, I'm not 100% sure how these Dynamax battles go. Like, are we supposed to invest a lot of dust into these things or not? But might as well just evolve it while we can. And this is what it looks like when you Dynamax it. It's just slightly bigger and he's a lot slower. It looks cool though, really like it. And since we have the energy to do it, it looks like we should probably unlock these. So this is gonna be 50 candy and 400 power. So boom, there we go. We've got ourselves the Max Guard ability. And also, once this thing stops moving, I'll get to a Spirit Lock. Or the game is frozen. That's exciting. So that's great. Yeah, I'm gonna have to reload the game now. But yeah, just know that I'm also gonna do the same thing with Max Spirit, yada yada. Okay, I've given it the Max Guard and the Max Spirit. But I want you to hear this. I never usually turn the sound on, but listen to this. That's the normal sound for Double. But now we're gonna Dynamax it and... 
That's something else. And the funny thing is, if you go to Wulu, horrifying, absolutely horrifying. With that being said, let's wait till 12. Also, while we wait, I do want to show you a really cool glitch. Check this out. If we Dynamax the double real quick, and then we swipe over to this Charizard, and then back, and then back, it becomes a Dynamaxed freaking Shundo Charizard. Like, this is a Shundo. It is Dynamaxed. This is a glitch. This is not actually Dynamaxed. But technically, we can do this to other Pokemon, so how about we go by number real quick, and then we could do this again. We're gonna Dynamax, we're gonna swipe over, swipe back, swipe over, and then we got it with the Squirtle. And you can do this with Shadows. Check it out. We can do it with the Mareep real quick. Go back, forth, back, and there we go. We have a Shadow freaking Dynamax Shiny Venusaur. I never thought I'd ever put all those words in a sentence. But yeah, pretty cool that this is a little glitch. I'm sure they'll patch this out at some point, but it's fun to see it. Like, who would have thought we'd ever got to see this stuff? I have tested it on Megas. You can't do it with Megas, but you can do it with the Gen 8 starters as well. And I do believe there's a few other Pokemon that have this glitch going on for them right now, but I don't quite remember what all of them are, but still really cool that these are in here. Good morning, everybody. It's not 12 a.m. It's 5 a.m. I don't know who decided in their divine wisdom that these max power spots get to refresh exactly at 5 a.m. instead of 12 like normal, but thanks for that. Really wish I knew that was a thing, but this is the last one I needed to do, so that's great. Basically, I stayed up until 12, noticed that that was going to be the case, and then went to sleep for about three and a half hours, so... Great. Anywho though, can't complain too much. This is part of the job. Let's claim ourselves a hundred of these energies, which is great. We'll get some goldens, some rare candies. Now we're gonna get another Dynamax Pokemon after our 8,000 XP. We're gonna get our hands on a Squivet. Pretty cool. Imagine getting the shiny of this. That would've been insane. This is a 385. This is not exactly the best one ever, but it doesn't matter. I'm just down to get it. Let's Golden Razzit because I have him, even though we don't really need to do that with him. And that was a terrible throw. Hey, whatever, we're probably gonna catch it. One, two, and three. Magical. Pretty cool that we're getting a different one as opposed to just another Wooloo, but yeah, let's take a look at this thing's IVs. It is, yeah, it's a Pokemon. Let's Dynamax them. I don't think I'm gonna evolve them at this very moment because I don't think it's really worth doing that. But let's see what else we have to do for page three of three. Oh, well, we can't do anything. Page 3 of 3 is time locked, just like Galar Calling. Well, at least we got to get it up to the point that we needed to get it up to. Well, now that we've done all that, I'm going to run back home so I can edit the rest of this together and have it out in time for you guys to watch it in the morning. So on that note, don't forget to smash that subscribe button for me, show me some love, and let me know in the comments down below. Did you know that these max power spots refreshed at 5 a.m.? I wish I did. And also let me know if you've gotten any good Dynamax Pokemon or if you got a really cool shiny. Definitely let me know that too. And if you're really enjoying the content and you want to see more of it, I highly suggest this video right over here. But with that being said, I'm going to try to get some sleep.